song is. All right, <laughs> that's it. I mean, it's not it because of the final draft, which we're, I guess we're going to start the final draft now. Uh, cosmetics, we don't have anything for, right? Yeah, this is just the pre-order DLC shit. That was always there. Be nice if you unlocked something. The final draft. Uh, we could just play on story, which is not the kind of thing I would normally do. Also, there's Nightmare now. Uh, I'm not doing that. Nope. No, no. Um, we'll go with normal. Why not? Really? I mean, I, I still like the gameplay though. I want, I want to know what normal is like. With the memory of the past loop already mm. fading fast. I mean, we're going to start with more gear, so it's not exactly the normal experience, but I want to I want to experience normal. This is a spiral. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Back to the start. That's exactly how the first cutscene was. Are we really going to do the whole Nightingale thing again? I don't know if I even need to watch the cutscenes. I need to look into this now. A fictional poet once said, Beyond the mm -hmm. shadow you settle for, there is a miracle illuminated. Uh, I will not settle for a shadow. I'll find the final draft. Through the night. How different is the final draft? This is what I need to know. Uh, final draft playthrough has been a bit more fun and less tense. I know where the gameplay beats are, so I can chew on the story more, it's experience new stuff. That isn't monsters. what I want to know. I see now there are heroes as well. Hmm. We can find our way through the Not a huge change. Uh, major changes are in cutscenes and dialogue. So we do need to watch cutscenes. Definitely more there than just the ending. I'd also say that replaying the game, knowing how it goes, makes the whole experience different. Seeing earlier sections in a different light. It's very loud. Very loud. Uh, there's a new intro. I mean, we still, I guess we've seen what there is of the intro. Small changes scattered throughout to existing cutscenes. Some new manuscript pages. A few videos that tease more, including one that drops a pretty good surprise and a new ending. Good suggestion if you usually uh, wait would be to wait for the Night Springs and or Lake, ha Lake House DLC, which are all going to be this year. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Nightingale's Pecker is way more detailed than the final draft. You can really see the chodiness of it. <laughs> oh, good. Uh... Yeah, alterations along the way, including a few new or altered videos and a few new manuscripts. One other minor spoily thing, and then the ending has changed a bit. Okay, I consider the final draft to be the trend into the game. It's very satisfying. Uh, saying it's a little possible for someone who doesn't know. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, all right. We're, do we're doing this, then. There's the bookers. It's going to be nice to go through this again. Yeah, we're doing this again. I've decided now. Next week, we're doing more of this. <laughs> we're going to rush through it. So it's going to be way faster this time. And especially since we've done all the collectibles as well. And hopefully, maybe we can find those... Um, the stuff we missed along the way. Uh, Evidence-wise, maybe. Since, um, you know, some of the... At least some of the bugginess has been patched out. But we can absolutely zoom through this. Especially, like, if we're just going from point to point in the story. Presumably, any of the new content is going to be found along the way. I mean, may, I may look into... I mean, we know where the point of no return is, right? So, yes, thank you. I can turn the jump scares down. That'd be, I, I mean, we'll leave it for now. But it's fine. You can't turn them off. You can only turn them down. But... um, Yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Yeah, like I was saying, they'll, the, they'll be the point of no return. So, I'll be able to look into if I've missed anything by then. Okay, now I can sprint. Thank you. Yeah, should be a, a much quicker going through. You know, all, all the Devil May Cry stuff, it was all for this. Yes, hello. Hmm. Yeah, night, you know, from Nightingale's perspective, we're seeing Scratch. We're being ordered, driven by Scratch. I guess probably probably that was an illusion by Scratch to make Nightingale be like, oh, this, the, you know, fear this. These fuckers are going to try and kill you. Don't let them. Since Nightingale, I mean, Nightingale probably doesn't know it at this point because he hasn't fully turned, but 
he is an agent of scratch at this point. So we can we can have these kinds of interesting thoughts about things we have the context for. Here's where the sacrifice goes down. Yeah, they appear to be taken, but who can say if that's real or if that's just Nightingale's warp perspective? Oh, you could see the lights of the monitoring station there. Oh. I don't... Was this... Was Did we get to hear him say any of this before? I don't think we did, but I may just be forgetting. Because I didn't know it was Nightingale until way later. Maybe that is how Take and See people. Yeah, because that's probably Ilmo. That's almost certainly Ilmo doing the stabbing right there. And we know Ilmo isn't Taken. Yeah, it probably is just his perspective. I don't know if that stuff was audible before. Yeah, if I, I feel like if that, if the, if the Hemingway line was in the original cutscene, then I would have immediately recognized that this was Nightingale. But it took me way longer to figure it out because he's not very recognizable. Interesting. I'm gonna have to like go and look back at the original cutscenes and compare. Because that's really interesting. Mm. Right. Yep. <laughs> I forgot they do the tile drop like this. But it's a good opening. Very strong cold open. Gotta give them that. Mm. Alright. In we go. A point in time where Logan is alive. Hey, kiddo. How are you? This is where I found out that Sean Ashmore was in this game. Remember that? I, I lost my shit then. I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Mm. This is a real call in real time. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, yep. it's... And you know, in the in the reality, you know, the family all lives together. Not in Bright Falls. They, it is the narrative. It really is just the narrative. That's the most surprising twist of all. Those mountains are gorgeous. <laughs> Eat shit, Casey. I wonder. I, I, we might start with no starting inventory. I don't know. I know we're supposed to get our weapons. Or at least some of them, from the uh, the shoebox. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. We got to hear all the Casey lines again. Let's go and the coffee. Yeah, we we course corrected off of the Twin Peaks vibes, which is good. But now we got to enjoy the the early game Twin Peaks vibes again. Mm. You should take lead. Think of me as Again, we've got two songs. There are two songs missing. Okay. I'm not even willing to look into them because I might get spoiled on stuff about this. Not about Final Draft. Cheer anyone up. I can't even look into it yet. Here was me thinking we might I might be done waiting to listen to old god songs. Cauldron Lake. But apparently not. Yeah, we'll just, we'll do a bit more of this today. And then we'll be back at it. <laughs> the Remedy Marathon does not end. Remedy isn't a loop, it's a spiral. Yep, well we know where he is. And we don't have to go look for things. Eaten by a bear. I'll check out that map. Hmm. Turn one. Invitation. So I wonder if we're going to have to, like, what, what is the, how's the mine place looking? We can't go there. Okay, now we can look at the map. And we only have... Yeah, we only have this one map. So I guess we're going to have to pick up the maps again. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. Yep. I can go take a look. Here's Mulligan. Back when he was alive. Hey, over here. Now we know these two are murderers. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? 
Interesting context. It's the kind of story that you appreciate more going through it again. Anderson. Uh, I'm in charge here. Yeah, because they're sexist. You already know my partner, Alex Casey. Mm-hmm. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. Mm -hmm. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... You know. Yeah, we never got that extra dialogue with Rose. I'm looking forward to seeing what the mind place looks like now. Hopefully we can close that that thing up. That's the only thing we're missing on the the lunchboxes. Yeah, I did. Can we... Okay. Uh, I guess I'll listen to all the dialogue. Uh, you know what I'm like. What if there's something new? What if? Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person mm. when they should be, but you know. Yep. Inside. Well, the cultist took the heart, but then it ends up in the dark place, and then Alan sends it back. So I don't know how it ends up there. I mean, same for all the key items, really. Because there's the, there's, what is there? There's the heart, there's the skull. What else? There's got to be something else I'm forgetting. Oh, the the record, right? Yeah, the record. Hmm. I, I, especially the record. I mean, I guess Cynthia could have sent the record to the dark place to, you know, pre prevent things from happening. That makes sense. Heart, skull, rib, nail, ring. Hmm. Any witnesses to the crime? I should witnesses? I should be letting these dialogues play out. Yeah. Out of town. While I have these speculations. I what they were doing, sneaking around the woods at night. Hmm. Not that we have anything against them them properly, Simon. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't even realize what you were referencing. I forgot about having to gather the parts of Dracula. Holy shit. What a throwback, man. Good god. Take a look at the body. body. There's like two games where we had to there. gather the body parts. Oh, sure. That's real was one of them Simon's the Quest? I think it was, right? Down the hill and I think one of the Egovanias had them. You can't miss it. Is it... Was that Symphony, for, uh, Symphony of the Night? The store, the campground. Remake of it for oh. Windows. Really? I didn't know about that. On a fish. Well, yeah, of course, of course. Konami making something interesting? No, <laughs> of course not. We'll never believe in such a thing. Hey, it's nice to be here at daytime again, since we, there's no, well, there's no way to change time of day like it's premium adventure or something. But you, you do have the chat to select now. But nice to be here during the day again. Here we go. Show me the case board. Yeah, Symphony had them as relics, right? Yes, yes, yes. I remembered that. Good job, me. Through clues and work the case, building mm. the mind place again for each case, using each field okay. office. Do I have to do it from the start, though? This is how it was. Yeah, Every we need to do this tutorial one. Mm. Worth taking another look. Yeah. Yep, yep. I know. I know. I know. Oh, I know. I know. Uh, oh no, <laughs> I thought this would carry over, but it doesn't. At least we have all this, but it's all marked as new. Fuck. Hmm. Right, there we go, though. Uh, we didn't get the credits music. We didn't get heroes and villains. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're going to have to fill that back in again. And maybe even do all the collectibles again. I mean, I won't do that on stream, obviously. Made you suffer through enough of that. So I am going to want to get the words with Alan. And I am want to get. I am going to want to get the lunch boxes. We actually would benefit from those. I mean, I don't know if our weapon upgrades carry over, honestly. We'll have to see. I assume our words of power carry over, which is why I assume same applies to weapon upgrades. Real funny, Anderson. I don't know, genuinely. Yeah, let's run. Let's run. We don't need to. We don't need to play it cool anymore. You okay to jump down? We're playing this like a video game now, not a narrative. I'm playing more video gamey so I can get more narrative. Yeah, nothing important there. But. 
don't know, maybe, I don't know. There might be, because we've, you know, we're, we're post-patch. Post-patches since we started. It might just be one, it might be. I think it might just be one since we started, but there may be bugged evidence that we missed before, so we are going to have to check for that. If getting back to nature is your thing. We can take a nice, healthy jog through nature. Nothing wrong with that. Damn, damn, damn. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. Nope. They did. Next coffee's on me. Yeah, I didn't notice them saying that last time. They they mentioned the bet again as soon as they get there. Hey, Deputy Thornton. Hey, Thornton. That's me at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's mm. behind the store. Come Is on. this case gonna get solved? I don't know, man. Guess I'll go grab this evidence then. Flashlight is where I admired the shadows for the first time. Uh, yep, gotta pick it up again. But we can't get into the back, right? That's where we're gonna have that fight later. Um, there might be containers around. I mean, a lot. I think a lot of questions are gonna be answered once we... And there's the solution to that puzzle to get the shotgun. Um... I feel like a lot of questions are going to be answered once we get access to a shoebox, which won't be for a little bit. Yep, that's presumably FBC. I mean, it could be the cult, actually. Let's reread that. Now we have full context. A fielder thought he saw movement in the bushes. Footprints around the area. Some were compromised by the fielder. Train the fielder. Hunters are out after dark. Not a, one of ours. Gotta keep an eye on these people. They could get more than they bargained for right here. No, this is definitely the cult. Because they they have they specifically have the ritual site here. Like they know they're gonna do the thing with Nightingale here. So they specifically got people stationed here, keeping an eye out, making sure people don't get too close. Somehow the book has got through. So these two know about this. They might have even been here. For all we know. Like we we only know like Ilmo, probably Yako. We're almost certainly here. As far as other cult members know, we don't uh, uh, go. We don't really know that much. Like Vlad might have been here because he was new, but we don't know. We still have a document and evidence missing for him. But Thornton and Mulligan might have been here during the actual event. But they obviously, like, regardless of if they were or not, they know what's going on. Didn't even think about that angle. You know, procedures and. Mm -hmm. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Yeah, okay. they. I mean, they the probably are trying to get in the way, at least a little bit. Not like directly <laughs> obstructing the case, but kind of obfuscating things enough and just playing it cool. Step one. So that they don't, ex the you know, don't really figure anything out. Yep, there's that. Body is positioned on the table. Mm hmm. Ritualistic. Yep, key image. Put it on the case board. Yep, but I, I think we definitely 100% solved this one. I don't think we missed anything here, even though there was apparently a bug that made people miss things here. Yep. Prompt a new question. Yep, goals. Got it. Yep. Examine everything. I can do it. Inside stab wound. Mm hmm Just cut open. We have to wait for the dialogue to finish to get the next one. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Yep, and the heart. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Mm-hmm. And now we have to go to the case board. Got it. I know. It's consistent with the murders, except that the the heart, you know, is still here where it was missing before. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Mm -hmm. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this we know the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Hmm. Yep. Mm, yep. Got a deduction. That was what we just saw. Goals. Questions. Yep. Triangle. Goals. Victim. Kill it. Yep. I know. I know. Who is our victim? I almost wish they wouldn't give us the tutorials, <laughs> given that it, we we this is specifically New Game Plus. Large amount of blood on the table. Oh. The victim died here. Yeah, we got that one. I remember that dialogue. Multiple people were here. But I guess, yeah, it's easier to just do this than reconfigure the entire thing. Yep. 
booze, and there's a tripod. They spent time here. I remember. And it was for a light, not for a camera. Someone camera was our initial place. thought. Knock the tripod over. They were trying to, like, weaken him with lights. I mean, we did see the lights at the start. When we were Nightingale, I just didn't put it together. Uh, killers. Uh, the victim, uh, the killers? Oh, no. Okay. Bootprints indicating mm -hmm. multiple killers. Quite it was premeditated. It wasn't a crime of passion. It was a, I don't know what you call it, a crime of conspiracy. Okay. Anything else immediately here? Anything to say to you? Have you identified the victim? The victim it's Nightingale. Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about... You know very well because you knew he was coming back. I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, Lie. Until next. Doubt. Nightingale. Robert Nightingale. The very same. Yes. You probably know him. Brothers in arms. Oh, what a fucker. Sisters. What a fucker. All right, put it on the board. We gotta speed through the board, since the board is mandatory, pretty much. He's still not putting those on. Uh, you knew the victim? You knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state, but yeah, I ran into him a few times. Yeah, he's very bloated now, and his dick's out. Oh, wow, it is. You see a guy with his dick out when you've never seen his dick before, you just don't recognize him. Uh, what, what happened, happened after he got fired? After the Bureau let him go. Yeah, we got, we do got to do more dialogue just in case we end up getting evidence that we somehow missed. No way, we can't do all the dialogue and try to make sure we, you know, talk to Rose about stuff as well about the the lunch boxes. Hmm. Uh, he's been missing since 2010. Hmm. All the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Alan Wake one. Something this but I'm gonna be repeating myself during this, aren't I? I don't know if I said that before. I may well have. Uh, right, deductions. Yeah, went off the deep end. He got fired. Robert he was Nathan, already insane. Ex FBI came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Mm-hmm. There we go. When you're trying to go through these quickly, you recognize more and more the moments where you lack control, where animations are just playing out. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Hmm. You came to get the clicker. Why now? Uh, victim came from the lake. Profiling. Yeah. Right. Profiling. See what they saw. Feel mm -hmm. what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Mm hmm. Piece it together. Yep. Speaking of which, I wanted, well, not speaking of anything, but I wanted, yeah, we don't have the setter thing yet. Casey's favorite and we, brand. we can look at all these now. It's terrible. And it, is it, is it going to be like, the, yeah, the card and the oh, brandy or whatever? But whenever I read this, I feel like she's still here. We use those at the end. We don't use these. Oh, we use that picture of uh, of Casey. We do use that. If only the rest of the bureau knew us. He's family. Family. Can't go through the door. Not until the end. Oh, no! Don't play take control. I mean, I love it, but not what we're here for right now. Okay. Oh, we're stuck in this tutorial now. Missing person. Because it's written that way. His murder. Ritual murder. Because he was taken. The click it. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't mm -hmm. some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A nightingale, a component. 
Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Yeah, and the intro is like... Alan, you know, Alan's like, oh, my my memories of, uh, of the last, the last run are fading, basically. But I guess, I mean, definitely Saga doesn't have any. I don't know if they've just faded or if she never had them. So maybe things will be different on Alan's side, potentially, if he does remember anything. But it could easily just start the way it started. And it was like, oh, I've forgotten everything. Oh, the loop. But now we know we're in the loop. Came from Conrad Mike. All right, thank you. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Mm-hmm. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Yep. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Yep, right. let's sprint. Let's okay. run. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. Fuck off, murderer. I know what you did. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Yeah, I played through it. looking for shelter. I played through it twice, actually. They were waiting for Matter of fact. Ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. We'll get there. It's That's that, that climbing spot. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night. Possibly. It's weird night. seeing this place in the day again. He was here. Ambushed him. Here's the ladle. The campgrounds. Strapped him to the table. Cut his heart out. But then a witch with no heart. Yep. We're skipping dialogue. Oh. Of Al murder. Hmm. I didn't know trees got that big. We've heard it before. It's fine. Me the creeps. You need to get out more. There's the footy prints and the first manuscript. Right, I need to check on my manuscript. Barefoot. Nightingales? See if we've got these or if we need to get them again. Uh, There's a piece of paper on the ground. A piece of paper. A piece of candy. We don't get it yet, though. Oh, no. Yeah, we do. There you go. I think I did that before, didn't I? I like went back into the mind place. A page full of text on one side. No, I, I like zoomed in on it and read it, didn't I? And tried to read it while we were on that screen. <laughs> but then we just immediately get it. Mm -hmm. Like a manuscript. Mm -hmm. Page of a story. The killer left a message. It's for us. Yep. It's about us. The victim was one of their own, mm -hmm. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. I hope there's some kind of like indicator for what like new manuscripts house. are. Like, you know, in um, reading, reading in one, there's that there's like the nightmare difficulty symbol next to the nightmare someone difficulty ones. I hope we got something like that, them. just to mark. I mean, I'll, I'll probably recognize How could they not the ones you're already seeing. It's not the end of the world. If it isn't like that, but it would be nice. Hmm. Someone's been watching us. Playing sick game with us. Sick twisted game. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came yeah. this way. Figure it out. Either he dropped this page. Yeah, he came from under the rock. Because they, you know, you gotta do the whole ritual. We gotta I talk to him. Came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. Yep, yep. And the weird manuscript's mysterious. And yep, do the do the profiling. We've got that. Do the profiling. We Page. A story about these events. Mm -hmm. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Literally, because they're on his heart. The awful truth. He must dig it out. Something was put inside mm. him, in his chest. Wait, was there? No, there was another page in there, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, there was specifically another page in his chest. We we find in the morgue. Yeah, I've read the manuscript. I I know, I know. Yeah, I'll look at it and then cancel the out of it. Was one of their own. FBI special agent. Yep. 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 We did that. I know. Uh, anything else to look at around here? We, 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 uh, oh, we do have our inventory. So we, we do have all four of our charm slots. That's good. But nothing else. Not even any, not even the starting charm. Uh, we can go to the witch's hut, but I don't think we need to, right? What do we, what do we actually do? Yeah, we can look at our hint. 
profile someone. We we profile the fucker. There's naught more to profile from him. Uh, so I guess we're not doing that now. Uh, guess I'll follow Casey. He's the, he's leading the way. Trusting Casey. We go back to the body? It's been a while since we started this game. So I don't remember all the little details. I can't speedrun this game yet. Oh, there's a color change. That was something that was in the patch as well. Apparently they've toned down a bunch of those really um, abrupt changes in, in color as you go to certain areas. I mean, that one was still pretty noticeable, but... Like, War Tree is where the really bad ones were, and I think they mentioned that outright. Do you have anything to say? Mm. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy God, you're a fucker. Down there, huh? Just like I said. You're a murderer. You're a murderer. Hey, you didn't have anything to say about it. Did I miss something at the crime scene? It said profiling, though. I did the profiling. I hope it's not bugged. <laughs> it better not be. Damn well better not be. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. God. Yeah, we don't have the key for that. They really don't want people. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember what we have to do. Uh, just gotta figure out what happened to Nightingale. Can't go down that way. We can go up here, but I don't think there's anything important there. Can I see my weapon upgrades yet? Ah, yeah. the The background manuscript pages for each weapon is there. But not all the magazines are yet. Okay, that's neat. As soon as we get to a fucking thingy, we'll be able to we'll be able to switch, get our guns. Uh, I'm gonna have to look at the walkthrough. <laughs> Bet better than just figuring it out next. We've already done this. Yeah, figure out what happened to Nightingale. Yes, yes. Oh, first result was Gosu Gamers India. Oh boy. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. uh this is not it. No, <laughs> that's that's after the morgue. Okay, IGN. Fucking Gosu Gamers India has failed me. Come on, IGN. IGN's done well by me in this playthrough. I, I I imagine we'll get there eventually. Someone will compile all the evidence and how you get it. But it can't come soon enough, honestly. Uh, yeah, the mine place. What do we need to pick up? What do we... It says we need to profile. Identifying the victim. Like, what what question are we on? That's a good question. And we can figure that out. Anything else here? Just says profile someone, though. Uh... Yeah, profile of Agent Nightingale reveal. Oh, wait. It's here. Wait. I just had it. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm brain dead. It was just there. We did have the thing for the profiling. I'm just blind. Yeah, the, the the second playthrough cannot continue like this. No, no, no. I, I need to do better. Put inside Nightingale's body. Well, we're back Let's here, though. The to get the body to the town Optimal. Okay. Optimal, actually. Deputies. Get the body back to town. Body Optimal. To town for a proper examination, ASAP. Mm. Well, sure. But the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. They're not going to do Deerfest. Do oh, and Sheriff Breaker called. To say he's got the bookers at the oh dear diner. Sheriff Breaker's in town. He's not in the dark place. Bless him. To the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Mm hmm Thank you. Thank you. Don't oh, mind if I do. I'm getting out of here. Alright, guess we can stop in on the monitoring station. We can't even go in it yet, can we? No, it's not open. It's after the engineer. Pays a visit with Ilmo. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. But yeah, the thing should already be sabotaged. That's why someone got sent to fix it up. Pretty woods. I mean, they no, they'd been doing it. That's why they knew um, Taken were gonna come, like Nightingale. 
It's because they were using this the thing. These aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise. Yeah, good old FBC. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Can't mm -hmm. fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. Mm. A tripod for a camera? No. The lights? A snuff film? Maybe. No. And Wrong. Take out his heart just to throw it away. Wrong, dummy. For us to find. Yeah, we'll probably... Yeah, we'll get to a good point. Especially, like, where we can save and where we can do Here inventory stuff. Mess around with that. Town and, meet the sheriff at the diner. and then just see what we have. I imagine they're not going to give you progression items, right? Like, they're not going to give you the screwdriver and they're not going to give you the bolt curse, right? Surely you don't get to carry that through. It's, oh, those are, like... Um, not inventory items, like quest items, key items, whatever you want to call it. So we probably don't get to keep any of those, which would just include all keys and stuff like that. We're going to have to get those again. But that's not too bad. These hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but mm. I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Yep, for the moment, this is far from home. Because reality still hasn't changed. Here we are. See, we got back here pretty quick. And look, there's those boys who only appear three times in the entire game and do next to nothing. You'd think they'd do more. You'd think you'd give them more goofy lines. I mean, maybe there's more I didn't hear. Potentially. Maybe. Yeah, we talk to the bookers. We meet Rose. That's what we do next. I remember. Would we go into the lodge, though? And uh, the diner's just up the water do a little bit of a save and inventory. Maybe. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right yep. back. Got it. Fuck that. I'm exploring town again. Well, I'm not exploring. I'm going to exactly where I intend to go this time around. Here we are in the real deal. Yeah, the save room was in here. Can we get in there? It won't open. No, shit's locked. Okay. Yeah, can't do anything with this. So, uh, yep, nothing important in here right now, right? Yeah. Right, cool. There's a deer head! Hey there, Mr. <laughs> I guess I'll get these again. You remind me of a dream I had. Why not? It'll get me loot. It'll get me loot if I get them all. It's worth it. I'll stream, of course. Unless I run into them. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, there's so many areas, so many parts of Bright Falls that are just unimportant. Like, you only go there for side stuff. Like, the the diner and the sheriff's office and the lodge are the only important places. Yeah, no. That's Bolt, Bolt Cutty. We can just go straight there, then. straight there now. You know, it isn't like me. It's not like watching me play a game, is it? Me going directly to the objective. Hey, there he is. Let me guess. The FBI. He's in the well, real world. Not abducted nice by you. aliens yet. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's what a great what guy. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. He is so nice. I love Breaker. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. Mm. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Such a great guy. We could use the help. My man does not deserve to be plucked from this earth and sent You're directly to hell. But that's exactly what's going to happen to him. Sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton mm. still on about that? But they're racist. No, and murderers. No, Bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. Mm. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Yeah. Take I wish I could compare notes with the sheriff. He's a good lad. He's a good lad. Files you sent over, Sheriff. I think we listened on on this Had before. People besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But mm. it's slowed down ever since Calvin Lake was passed off. I'm gonna guess missing person gave Uh, let me just loot the back. We got this deer head. I know where they are. Deer percent. Gonna become a speedrunner. Alan Wake speedrunner. People have got to have done runs of this game already, right? I'll have to look into that, honestly. See if there's any tech I could use, actually. Yep, can't go in there. We never went in this door. 
this door stayed locked the entire game. Maybe there's something we missed with Rose there? Since she, she would be able to go back there. Hmm. Hmm. Mysterious. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully we'll figure that out. Or maybe I'll look it up. Uh, we need to talk to the bookers. Talk to the bookers! Excuse me. I guess Rose must be back in that back office right now, most likely. That's us? She's going to appear in a minute. Oh, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel. Could skip this, but I'm a, we we'll, we'll go the through for now. Screaming pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few mm -hmm. questions. Nothing to stress. Yeah, I can think about our approach between streams. Uh, why are we? I've got to ask everything. late last night. I'm a writer. Okay, I can't skip this. Okay, what did so you see? What did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake. Mm hmm. He was acting crazy. And yeah, again, Ed, Ed got kidnapped. And nothing came of that. That's definitely going to be DLC 1. Surely. Surely we're getting Ed in DLC 1. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives. Like some kind of satanic... It'd be funny if we did like a, a segment that is like reverse Alan Wake 1. And it's her going after him, trying to save him from the dark place. What Why do you think it was, it was a cult? The masks and knives aren't enough. Maybe that necklace that you're hiding from me? Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Mm -hmm. oh. And then we found a... Uh. The whole thing yeah, yeah. Terrifying. That's all. That's like, that is like an early L.A. Noir, like just L.A. Noir in general, kind of, um, is this, uh, yeah, we've got every, I guess maybe more questions will pop up there, I don't remember what happens with that one. Uh, here we go, killer profile, profili, then we're, we're done with this one. With an organized group of killer. Yep, case closed. The tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. Mm-hmm. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. So. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when she was enthusiastic about this? Man, those were the days. Yeah, background case. The cult of the tree if I'm going to shut I don't. Down. Yeah, we didn't finish this one. This is the one where we needed stuff about Vlad and the Andersons and whatever else. Yep, yep. Uh, what kind of cult? Cult psychology. Yeah, yeah. Supplies. Goes in psychology. Uh, profiling. Profiling! I would like the necklace, please. Bookers. The cult of the tree. Mm-hmm. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. Yeah, we've seen this. We've seen this. I'm not going to be too trigger happy with skipping cutscenes. But if I, I, if I have no reason to believe that it's something we haven't seen before... Then I'll, 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 I'll see. And again, I'll look into it more. What's that? Oh, it's the mug. Yep, that we looked at at the end as well. I actually forgot about it. Until, uh... So you found something there, right? And until we saw it at the end of the game, pretty much. Okay. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, he said you found a thing, so it's, it's kind of obvious. Gimme, gimme! There's Rose! Rose spotted. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now. Maybe Rose might have new dialogue. She's she's touched in the head. <laughs> oh god. Saga. Anderson. It's the start of the narrative. Already. There are people that recognize her as, as always living here. It sets in pretty quick. Awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. Hmm. How are you? Um How are you? You Who dead you? daughter have it? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. Mm. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my It's going to be so many parts. It's like, remember when I pugged super hard at this? Remember when I pugged because Rose showed up? Daughter. That's so weird. You don't remember. Oh, so weird. I don't know how the 
So crazy, Saga. Oh, I know what this so is. So wacky. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Mm. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. No. If you say so. The narrative. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All set. Hello. Oh, yes, I'm. Okay, I can't go to my place. Let's go. Yep. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Like <laughs> Keep pressing the button. Can't do it yet. Got to talk with Casey the first. Tree. The murder cult. Mm. Fuck. A safety cult. This cult of the tree Neighborhood shows. watch cult. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. Yeah, break it. Unless he's lying, but I don't think he is. He's too honest a lad for that. He played D and D, but um, yeah, like you know, sh shit like with Mulligan and Thornton and God knows how many other members of the sheriff's department are members of the cult. It's all going on under his nose. He does not know. I do not believe that he knows. Okay, I can put the thing on the board. Just get things on the board. Talking about the diner. Uh kind of cult. It's cult symbols, right? Yeah. Gotta ask a new question. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But yeah, even more proof that it is just the narrative changing people. Because Casey doesn't have anything to say about that. Like at this point, Casey knows well that Logan is alive and everything's fine with Saga's family, but because he gets affected by the narrative bit by bit, hey boss. Corpse he finds that objectable, uh, objectionable later. In the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a look murderers. Lead the way, Sheriff. You know about that woman you stuffed in a well? Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate yep, yep, yep. the support, Sheriff. I'm going to the morgue. Do we have to wait for him to unlock the door? Yep. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. Oh, I forgot about I that line. You guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this. Yes, right? that's right. That's right. To perform examinations. Yes. Yeah, we can't go into the save room yet. Nope. That one takes a key. Right. Yeah, we get the key from Estevez down the line, don't we? They always cheer me up. Can't say I feel mm -hmm. the same. He's joking. Uh, can open these. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I remembered these were lootable, but I don't think we got them the first time through. Only when we came here later. It won't open. Can't go in there. I know there's uh, a health box. Healing green cross okay. box in there. Let's take a look at our patient. Yep. Yeah. Examination so of Nightingale. Before performing the internal examination. Look over here. There is a health box. There's one here. And it doesn't have health in it. That's fine. I'll take I'll take what I can get, man. That's fine. Alrighty. What was the cause of death? What other uh, his heart was removed. You need that to live. Writing. Mm-hmm. And on the body. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. Mm-hmm. Thirteen years. It doesn't add up. This looks like text. Mm -hmm. a tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo. Yeah, we never got to specifically read what was written on him, I don't think. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, that'll do it. Oh, no, that's the, the thing that was left, right? All right, put it on the board. Murder... Uh, this, I, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. Murder at Cauldron Lake. Yeah, yeah, we got the second main case thing. Couldn't even skip that in time. Anything to learn from the body? All this stuff! They took his heart out! He's got a big old gash in his chest. Took a knife to the thorax. Took an Ilmo to the thorax. That's not right. Uh. Okay, I guess, does this all go into cause of death? I guess we're ruling out what is and isn't part of the cause of death. Or maybe we're not. That goes on the body? Okay. Ritual writing, yeah. 
which is also here. Text is smashed. Mm -hmm. Looks inverted. There we go. Skip that dialogue. <laughs> Did the killers leave it there? Yeah, when do we even get to save? Is it when we go back to Cauldron Lake? Because we're going to have the whole thing happen now. Uh, there you go. Yeah, this happens now. And then... And yeah, he still has his entire face right now. But he's got like half his face blasted off by the, the time we're done with him. Don't know when that happens specifically. Manuscript. One I've already gotten. Yeah, this cutscene's probably too important to skip. May or may not have anything new in it, but... Like the start of Dead Space 3 again. You gotta trust the light. Hit them with the light. Cut off their limbs. I keep shooting them in the body and it doesn't do anything. I was pointing my flashlight at the floor and I couldn't hurt them. I have to use the flashlight. Point it right at them. Yep. That's that one about door that tells us how to get into Parliament Tower. We just can't get it yet because door's gonna snatch him. Like, we're seeing this from Doors POV. Primed to snatch. No, 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 wait. Yep. Doored. God, that's cool. Just like a couple of frames of door. And then he's gone. Hello, Nightingale. Right, we've got to, like, stealth around him first. I forgot we did this whole bit. Oh no, Nightingale's too strong. He's got the Hulk strength. <laughs> he is like a blubbery Hulk. Blubbery, bloated Hulk. Now the first of many cops die. Mm. Putting it together. Mm. But the gun's over there. Good shot, that. I mean, all the cutscenes are well shot, man. But good to appreciate them again. It really is like a film that you appreciate differently the second time through. Different from you, the usual way of like playing a game through again. Yep, yep. Oh yeah, we do. We do get some light healing here, so we would have gotten light healing this far back. I just wouldn't recognize it. Let's... Okay, can't go to the mine place right now, but we have shit to put on the board. Come on in, Nightingale! He can't see me in the light. Blubbery, chode-showing man. Go on, round me you go. Gotta get it back. Yep, yep. And yeah, that's specifically part of why uh, safe havens are so valuable, is because... Gun made it all the way down here, goddamn. But because they literally can't see you. Two shots. Enough to kill the undead. I wonder if that takes more shots on hard. Like if like it's a tutorial, basically. But I wonder if like there's some health value there that's inflated by difficulty. And a chapter. Chapter speedrunner. You don't need to hear the music. <laughs> he didn't have a heart. Let's get me to a goddamn heart. save. It really I, I don't I don't know. I don't it think we'll be able to save here. Until we come back. Like we need to go to the witch's hut. That's gonna be our nearest save, I think. We need to figure that we'll have to get there and we'll call it from there. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Yep. Uh, what happened to the sheriff? He got doored, pulled into a door. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. He's been dreaming of door. Ever dream this door? You're attacked by a dead man. Explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. That's the FBC's line. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Maybe even paranatural. Out a way forward. 
the victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. But someone who, it, the, no one like this exists, but someone who cares way too much would be able to go through both buds and tally up how many times I said the same thing at the same place. I don't know if I've done it at all, but I feel like I would. I feel like I'm predictable enough. Uh, split up and look for clues. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> the first manuscript that's put right in front of me that I've missed of the playthrough. Saga was Incredible. Cauldron Lake. Mm -hmm. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Mm. Saga would learn how. Stop yep. the monster. Put the heart in the hole. Say the lines. Show me the terror. Yep, we've read that. I know. I know. Let's get all this on the board. Mm hmm. Yeah. So stuff like that is almost certainly not going to be new dialogue. Probably. 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 Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. But just put it on the board. Put it on the board. The overlap. He's a taken. He is a taken. He's taken a shit. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, yeah, Cauldron Lake. Places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. I don't know if there's more to Cauldron see taken. here. We need to head over there, stop him, mm -hmm. before anyone else gets hurt. Yes. Okay. Not gonna go that well. I mean, we are gonna stop him, but a lot of, a lot of people are gonna... Well, I guess we will stop him before we more people get hurt. Okay? Unless we these two are getting lives. taken at that exact sure, time, but it's fine see. if they get hurt. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down. Mm -hmm. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Yeah, they should oh, know me. full well. That's terrible. We'll do what we can. Yeah, see so yeah, that the way the way you're saying, oh, that's terrible. Like they totally know, they knew this was gonna happen. But that's crazy, right, Thornton? Colt didn't do anything about it. Because presumably Ilmo could order these two to tamper somehow. Like they, these two were left alone at the crime scene for a good while. Yeah, right. Well, that's all. I guess it's just crazy like talk. people have seen the crime scene at this point. So if it had been tampered with. They could get called out on it, potentially. Maybe. There's that cash. Closed. Of course. But of course. But they know monsters of magic are real. They're a fine pair. Mm. And all right, so we're just heading back. Let's run. Good day. And his cult are dangerous. Yeah, we should just he be able to steal Breaker's car. He doesn't need it now. He's hiking around the entirety of the dark place. Oh, there's the first set of one. Here. I guess there's no particular reason to go after that one. Would we get just like a duplicate charm if we completed the quest? I and mean, it was the best charm, but presumably we have it in our storage. I damn well hope we do. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. Mm hmm but it's our best lead. Yeah, what else are we going to do? All right, Cauldron Lake, please. All right, remember, we can skip the cutscenes of us driving in after the loading screen. Don't forget. Important time save. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was obsessed with Alan. I guess I'll listen to this again. Good refresher. Tell me mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. Mm-hmm. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard Cold of Case Alex. Casey. Cold Case Casey. <laughs> Murder Case Casey. Sorry. Uh, uh, it's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Mm. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of pros describing yeah so what murders. was what was up with this you've heard the stories about what happened in new york yeah some of it at least that's what we follow through on alan's side i guess it was just was it the cult who got him involved who who was sending casey the fragments it could be rose because we know rose has all the fragments that go in the launch boxes that's a bit of a stretch but i don't know after that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. 
And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. Hmm. I just wanted you to Almost like it's the name of the game or something. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. <laughs> ha ha ha. Very good writing, Alan. See, now we can skip this. Yeah, this is the, the workman's van and uh, Ilmo's bike should be around somewhere, isn't it? Yep, there it is. Ilmo's bike. Yeah, we pass down here now and we find Ilmo. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Let's start looking for Nightingale where it was killed. Yep. So we the just have to search over this whole place, figure them. out the ritual. Because they're behind Again, the witches, uh, not witches, uh, cauldron. Impossible That's the the lake, here. kind of, a isn't it? On That's why it's called Cauldron Lake, because the whole witch imagery going on there. Um, the what was it? Uh, witch's cabin, just whatever it is. That's the save. Actually, I don't know if the save might not even be accessible until it hits night. Hey, Elmo. Hey, cult leader. How are you folks doing? Those restricted area signs don't do a damn thing. Also, another point towards, you know, the narrative changing people's perspective and memories is Elmo doesn't recognize Saga at this point. But when we get to Watery, it's all smiles and hugs and like, oh, glad to finally have you back. But no, no Hello? mention of this. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to See, be she there? introduces herself and he doesn't bat an eye. He introduces himself. Fantastic to meet you. He does not recognize Saga at this point. If I'd remembered this stuff, then I would have been more confident in Saga's memory the whole time. Mm-hmm. You know about the murder? You were there. You cut his chest open. People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Yeah. Speaking of, Both of them are alive. For some fun. Isn't that great? Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's yeah, I'll be there. I'll see you, Mr. Drippy. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name mm. it, we probably got it. Yep. What's this machine? What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The yeah. Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity mm -hmm. levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. Mostly. It's one gorgeous weather saga. Yep. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. Yeah, her mom. My, my mother made the sweater. sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Hmm. Watery. My hometown was founded by Finnish immigrants. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Yep, so, the Andersons. Finland. <laughs> I love Finnish. I don't know much about them right, yeah, that. yeah. The Andersons the are Swedish. Swedish? From Sweden? FBC? So we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. Nothing about the oldest house going dark? Can't tell me anything about that? I'm just here to make some repairs. You're not anxious about that, Stephen? Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big. I, I hope this guy's alive. I gotta assume he must be. Maybe? I mean, we know no one, no one who's gonna be coming out here is gonna be... From the oldest house. So maybe he came from the lake house? In which case he might be fucking dead by the end of the story? Depending on what the hell's going on. At the lake house. Maybe we'll see him again. I hope we do. FBC! Yeah, we don't get a uh, an evidence for that. The FBC. Alright, come on, buddy. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Oh, yeah. Breaker's disappearance. Yeah, he got doored. It was fucking crazy. He was about to give you more of those pages. Hmm. Those pages about door. Have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous Do wonder about that. We still, we still don't know too much about why door took him. Like, presumably because of the page. 
It might just be that. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did play some. Yeah, do we go do we get to do the combat encounter in there? That's where the heart is. I'm assuming we can't do that early. Look here. We've seen this symbol before. Yeah, the symbol. Mm hmm mm hmm Get that on the board. That'll be Go to the tree. Yeah, we've got a few things that need to go on here. Uh, symbols. And... Uh, goal. Yeah. Getting better at it. <laughs> Given that I've literally already done this before. The ritual. What's the ritual? Why is the writing important? Why is Nightingale the only one that changed? Uh, some, is that the ritual? Is that the goal? <clears throat> yeah. Alright. I guess we'll go look in the store. Oh, Barricade. and there's these prints, right? Nightingale. We follow those down I'll to the ladle. The and then we come you back up here for the heart. But I guess I'll Casey. look. Just in case. Somehow I doubt we can, we can break the sequence on this one, but it's worth a check. I mean, the... Oh, I was going to say there's an inventory expansion in there, but we've also... I forgot... Yeah. Um, I forgot about inventory expansions. We have that carried over, too. No, he's not going to let me in yet. He's in there. He must be in there at this point. Unless he sneaks in. I mean, he does have a few minutes of us being all the way down at the ladle. It could be. But yeah, I should probably, probably just try to do things in the correct and intended sequence, especially now that the correct and intended sequence is much more clear with the... Advantage of foresight. Be n it'd be nice if there was a sequence break somewhere, but I don't know. We've got we've gotten very caught up on the sequence before, so. Was this new? I'm gonna say that for every one of these now. <gasps> oh, yeah, I, this is new. This is new. I don't remember this one. Hello. No rewrites. Saga Anderson's Deja Vu. Here we go. It's coming together now. Yeah! Okay, so she does have her memories somewhere in there. She doesn't actively remember, but it's there. Nothing. None of the victims from her past cases resembled this one. It didn't feel like anything from her past. Like something from a dream. From a life she could barely remember. Maybe one that wasn't even hers. Well, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Past. Like a shadow in the trees Is this another away. timeline? Well, we don't know how the Some loop the works or the spiral. Feeling from her head. She turned her focus back on the work. Mm. There was a lot to do. Casey and the deputy yep. were watching her. She had a feeling this would be an exciting case. Mm. Yeah, some part of, some part of her recognizes what's going on here but she just doesn't recall she doesn't have explicit memory but it's enough for her to have deja vu cool so i i wonder if that's going to develop fucking jump scares yeah we'll profile him well, thanks for that that didn't go into my inventory oh no I, I didn't pick it up okay there you go explains it uh, let's put that there. Ooh, need to handle my quick slots in general. Well, I'll just set everything back the way it was. And we'll style profile on the man. I the overlap. Somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. Mm -hmm. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. And we're not going to have to do the boss fight with him. Before we get to save and get our items. Surely not. They wouldn't do that, would they? Because that's when we're in, like, proper combat. They would they would let us have our stuff by then. Surely. Surely. Okay. Put it on the board. Put both of these on the board. Uh, where did Nightingale go? Yeah. And the other one. He went to the tree. The ladle. Alright, that's not done yet. But we can get to the ladle. Ladle, ladle, ladle. 
I'm trying to remember where the first combat is. I think it I think it is in the in the store. Isn't it? Like we get we go get the heart from the store and we have a fight there. Gotta be. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. Yep, and we can bust this. Bust it wide open. Burn the dark stuff away. The is that in place? Yeah, this is an old page. We know this one. Into the witch's hut. Inside, mm -hmm. a bright light. Yes. Describing the save. The saga, as if the light had manifested them. Mm -hmm. the witches yes, yes, yes. Okay. We know this. Yes. Let's get over there. The then we'll time. stop for today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, we, we've gotten one. We, we got the new intro cutscene. Slightly modified intro cutscene. And we've gotten one new page. And it was fairly out in the open. So I was able to find it. There's no guarantee I won't miss anything, but... This is the witch's but like I say, we'll we'll know where the point of no return is. This fuse is busted. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you, Casey. I'm just getting my good fuse. Thank you. Yes, was there a lunchbox here? We can get that. Yeah, yeah, we read this. Kids lunchbox. Mine. Casey movie lunchbox. Yep. What's written there is the same one. Yeah, yeah. Ah, hoo -hoo. look, they're all here. Good shit. And yep, we're getting new fragments. So, hopefully, I mean, probably based on how many we were able to buy, how many upgrades we were able to buy compared to how many there are left, I think we definitely should be able to fully upgrade all the weapons by the end of this. Maybe I'll switch to using the sword-off shotgun again. Try and get the the combo. Do a bit of combo and heal on kill. Is pretty nice. Is this shotgun? This shotgun's okay. It's good for single target, definitely. And there's auto fire for it, so it could be good for for killing beefy things. But that's that. We'll see. Thank you for the shot T shells. I think that is what was there before. I want to say there were shotgun shells there before, and then it took me a minute to figure out how to actually uh, get the shotgun. Here we are. Let me in. All right. Uh, quick save, because that's my habit now. Take the page. Making progress. The image of the witch in the sign. Yep. This the is a story one. The witch. The smudged line on the heart. Mm -hmm. The second part recited from memory. Show me the terror. The heart, witch. Show me the terror. Very good line. Push the heart through the hole in the sign. Oh, and there's one here. Is this one new? Two right next to each other. Might be. No, that seems familiar. Opens the Cauldron Lake overlap. Dark, wait, Dark Poem 1. No, this is new. That's the one we just picked up. Dark Poem 1. The writer of the first word, not the writer of the last. With mm. the terror of the light and the shadow cast. The third mm -hmm. eye now open to protect third eye. the night. Third eye, third eye, third eye. When he got shot in the forehead, light. maybe. This is the ritual to lead you on. Yes, Your we know these lines. When you are gone. Yeah, that's the shit we've seen on the other side. And that's Dark Poem 1. So there's going to be more of those. Neat. Uh, anything we... Oh, there's, there's a container. I knew there had to be more loot in here. Yeah, let me look at my gear. Hey, there we go. Okay, so we don't get ammo for anything. But we get all my gear. Let's stick that on there. Um, let's see. Let's see. We're going to want to preserve supplies. We only get one coffee mug. <laughs> I saved so many of those fucking things. You bastards. Maybe I'll try and get the achievement for dying with one of these things on next time. In like the Nightingale fight or something. Uh, we don't have any hand flares yet. Out of heals is good. Uh, yeah, gotta oh fuck, gotta get my my loot charms. Those are the important ones. Yeah, then we can get get fucking equipped. Yeah, I'll take the battery charge so we can save on battery battery. Um, just more stagger for crowd control. Though I don't know how much we'll need that, but that's a good setup. Don't need the max health, I suppose. Uh, right. I guess I should use this trauma kit, shouldn't I? 
since we're only at half health. There we go. And let me grab my guns, I guess. Minus one, one. <gasps> Look at this shit. Look at this weird programmer shit. Minus one ammo. Oh my god. As a as a civvy enjoyer, seeing minus one ammo is incredibly frightening to me. <laughs> it's it's surely not gonna mean that. It's definitely just some weird shit. Because what what uh, like what what minus one ammo means in weird Eurojank FPS context? I, I I guess we will have a look. If we I I surely we're not gonna have infinite ammo. That would be ridiculous. But yeah, what it usually represents is infinite ammo. The the example Civi uses. Um, I'm trying to remember what game it was. Is the game where the guy says? Uh, I think it's the game where the guy says quit winning. Um. It's some very bad Euro jank. What well, else? Thank you for the cool and the stretch. We're just about to finish. Uh, we're in New Game Plus, explore, exploring what is going on with New Game Plus. But I'll have this coolant real quick. One sec. Stretch. It would be nice to have overflow ammo, but what it usually means in Euro jank. I mean, this good. This game could qualify as Eurojank. Uh, stretch. Ugh. Um, because it is a bit janky and it is European, but uh, I I keep distracting myself. Basically, it means that it, like you you take out like a knife and you see that it says ammo minus one. What that means is the devs were too lazy to just make it so that the melee weapons don't have an ammo counter. And the way they made melee weapons work is to just make them effectively work the same as a gun. But they, they put minus one since that tends to make infinity. That's how they do it anyway. Yeah, let's take this and we'll try combo shotgun. Sure, we'll take him out. Oh, look. No, it stopped being minus one as soon as we took it out. I guess that makes sense since weapons kind of intrinsically... Like ammo is stuck to them. You can't remove ammo from them. But this one had ammo that we never had in it. So it's like, I guess when the weapons become initialized in the shoebox in uh, in Final Draft, they display as having minus one, even though it isn't really the case. Let me put those on my quick slots. Why don't I? Um, let me press the right buttons also. That would be good. So I guess I should have my weapons on my my nearest slots like that so they're accessible probably for now anyway but yeah that's what we'll call it for today uh we I, yeah i guess my decision is made now i wasn't sure at the beginning of the stream but with the way the game ended and with what new game plus seems to be promising we will be playing this game again <laughs> next week continuing uh until we beat the game again i guess I I hope to God that it isn't fucking Dark Souls and there isn't, you know, New Game Plus 2 and New Game Plus 3 with new content. I really hope not. And I'm, I'm always happy to have more Remedy game, of course, but I would, I would like to get through it, process the information. That would be nice. But yeah, that's all we'll call it for today. Alan Wake versus Ornstein and Smo. Well, Alan doesn't really have the boss fights. I, and yeah, we don't... There's no... The, we have like a, a versus two guys boss fight. And we have a versus a big guy boss fight, but not a combination. I guess you could say Mulligan and Thornton are our Ornstein and Small. But then it's Saga versus Ornstein and Small. But anyway, that's what we'll call it for today. Thank you for joining me for the end of this game story. Because, I mean, the cliffhanger is one thing. It would suck more because uh, the New Game Plus was added in an update. So if you were playing on launch and it just ended like that, it wouldn't be too great. I guess if you knew New Game Plus was coming and it would have more plot, then it wouldn't be too bad. But we definitely need more. But everything that came before that, all the revelations we had today were really sick. Like we had some gameplay <laughs> issues for sure, but the story was at its best in the final act. Pretty much. It was really good. And I've still got a lot of questions I'm very curious about. So, like I say, we'll continue with that next week. 
Uh, before then, though, we'll be back again on Saturday for more God of War. And I did actually look at the IGN walkthrough for God of War, not for not at any specifics, but just to see how far through the game we are. And I think we're, like, just in terms of how many chapters there are in that walkthrough, uh, supposedly we're just a little under halfway getting to the desert. So we'll see how we do. I don't know. No promises one way or the other, but we will play a bunch more God of War. And then, yeah, and then yeah, cause <laughs> on Sunday, Hostess Hell. How could I forget that we're still doing that? But yeah, we'll be back for that. But yeah, until then, hope you have a very lovely morning, noon, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are, or even if there's no time of day, if you're stuck in the dark place, I don't know. Um, but yeah, excited to do New Game Plus uh, until, until next time. I'll see you around.